So I recently made a quick stop into my local Goodwill and made $100 in 20 minutes. The first thing I always do when I walk into a thrift store is go check out the vinyl records. I'm not necessarily looking for anything to flip, but I'm mostly looking for my holy grail which is some vinyl records in Spanish. I have found a few vinyl records in Spanish, um, nothing too crazy. The day that I find my holy grail, I'm going to show you guys and let you guys know what it was. I saw this cool little Christmas Starbucks mug, but I did not pick this up so I head over to the electronics section. Do not sleep on selling electronics guys, some of these electronics go for a lot of money. I did find a Quasar VCR. It does not have the remote, but it's only $5.99 and it's going to sell for around $30. By the way, at Goodwill, you guys have seven days to test out electronics and return for store credit, just like this Ray Dunn family lamp that I picked up for $15 and it should sell for around $75. Used Air Force Ones on eBay like these sell for around $25 to $30. Bucks. These were priced at $20. And I usually pick them up at yard sales for around two to five bucks. So I just had to pass on those. I moved on to looking through the men's clothes, specifically t-shirts. And I did find this Nike golf shirt. This one was priced at $6.99. Uh, it should sell for around 15 bucks. There's not like a whole lot of profit in there, um, but I still picked it up. Anytime you see Nike uh, golf shirts or Nike golf clubs, they do sell pretty good because uh, Nike doesn't make anything golf anymore. I would have liked it to be more like maybe $3.99. Uh, sometimes when you sell stuff on eBay, uh, you know, that extra 2 or $3 profit really makes a big difference, especially when something is selling just for like 15 bucks, minus the fees and stuff like that. I probably should have grabbed this Nike Chicago Cubs long sleeve shirt better than the golf shirt. This was only priced at $3.99 and it's a 2X. I'm sure it probably could have sold for a good 15 bucks as well. And being $3 cheaper, there was probably like a better profit margin there. Um, but either way, I won't lose any money on the golf shirt. It will still sell. Um, I also picked up this Wrangler shirt for seven bucks. And I also picked up these two like Echo kind of like fleece track, track jackets. Um, they were also $7 each. The Wrangler shirt should sell for about 15 bucks. And I'm going to price these two jackets at about... 25 maybe they'll sell for 20 bucks each all right guys thanks for watching this little quick goodwill trip i just happened to be driving by i stopped at this goodwill it was like a 20 minute in and out thing i ended up buying these items and i spent a total of 49 dollars the biggest profit is going to be in the vcr and in the um ray dunn family lamp those two things are going to bring in the most profit the shirts and the echo jackets will bring in a little bit of profit but it's still okay i mean um, it's all part of the fun, getting them listed, and you kind of learn as you go um, what sells for you and what doesn't. So like I said, I spent a total of $49. Everything should sell for around $150. That leaves me a profit about $100. I will charge uh, shipping on it, minus the eBay fees. Still, for a quick 20-minute stop, that's not bad at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about the stuff I bought? Um, if you're already subscribed, I really appreciate you guys. This is just the beginning of my channel. If you're not subscribed yet and you like the video, please consider subscribing. It's free, it doesn't cost a thing to subscribe, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos. Also, make sure you guys like, drop me a comment. Thanks for sticking to the end and see you next time on Picking for the Low.